Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the Watford 20, Watford 20 Career Mode. It's Kieran here. Hope you guys are all doing well, enjoying the series, enjoying the channel, keeping safe and all of that good stuff. You know how we start these episodes. So if you guys haven't checked out the last episode, uh, go check it out. You know, we had a tough game. We had the first leg of the quarterfinals against AC Milan. And uh, yeah, it was a tough game as expected. Um, wouldn't expect anything different in the quarterfinals of the Europa League. But in this episode... We have the second leg of that game. Uh, there's still lots to play for in that game. Obviously, uh, the scores are still very close. So we're going to have to be on top performance uh, to make sure we get through to the semi-finals. That would be huge if we can make it to the semi-finals in our first season in the Europa League. I think that would be huge. But we've also got Premier League games. We can't forget that we need to st still keep focusing and climbing up the Premier League because of the such poor start of the season we did have. Uh, so our first game's up against Chelsea. You know we've had problems against Chelsea if, you, if you've been following the career mode for a while. But yeah, let's drop straight into that first game and see how we do against the Blues. So here we go, Chelsea. A uh, very tough team. You know, I, th I think they're, they're in the top four, I think, at the moment. So obviously a very good team uh, fighting for those Champions League places. I think the league is pretty much sewn up uh, by Tottenham. Uh, so I think the couple of teams behind them are just trying to fight for uh, second, third and fourth, I think, almost. Um, so Chelsea, you know, they won't, they won't be uh, settling in this game. They'll be looking to win it as well. Oh, great bit of play from Chelsea. Oh, oh, and he misses. Yo, they absolutely did us there. You know what? I'll accept that. A uh, little one-two absolutely killed us. And Arcadius Milik with a, with a ridiculous diving header. So it was at this point that my capture card decided it wanted, wanted to play games with me in a huge, huge episode and decided to stop recording. But anyways, all you guys need to know is that Frank Yannick Kessi went on an absolute mad one. Uh, he scored two absolute bangers and Iñaki Williams getting the third goal for us. Uh, so he came away uh, with a 3-1 victory against Chelsea. Huge one. But I managed to get the capture card working again and we jump into the most important game of this episode and that is the second leg of the Europa League game against AC Milan. All right, so big game. You know how we do. Um, we got it. We got to get the win here. Oh, referee! Both of our players got taken out there. That was poor, man. Yo, these European teams are savage. Oh, great play! In Yaki. Oh, blast it in! Yo, he says, "Defenders, get off me, man! You're not besting around with me." He's had enough. He got taken out there by the defenders. He says, he says, no thank you and smashes it with his right foot. And that is a huge goal in this game. And now puts us ahead and obviously gives us the away goal as well. Which could be absolutely huge in terms of determining the result of this game. Into Inyaki. No! How did he miss that? Back to Calvin Phillips. Oh, it is saved. Oh, what's going on today? What is going on? Oh, man. We, this second goal could be huge. Give us, could give us a bit of daylight. No, 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 no. We knew with just a one goal lead, one goal will put them back into the game. It was poor defending by us. It should have should have seen that run from Cavani and he squeezes in at the near post. Ah, come on. Come on, man. We've got to do better than that. Had to wait for Inyaki to get back in on side and he slots it past. Yeah, thank God he didn't miss this time. He's missed a couple of those type of chances. The first time, he just absolutely bolted um, and completely went offside. But Renato Sanchez had the uh, presence of mind just to hold on to it, wait for him to get back onside. And then he slots it past and we finally get the second goal, which gives us the advantage again. And we move 4-3 ahead on aggregate. Uh, it looks like we're just going to be involved in shootouts in the Europa League. We're in the last 10 minutes now, and we still hold the lead. Oh, Valverde, come on, you got to fight for that against Awa. And we move into stoppage time. Uh, it's now or never for Milan. Just clear the ball, Ramsdale. Clear the ball. Yes, come on! 
come on! We made it through to the semi-final. What a performance. Yo, we went away to AC Milan and kept a clean sheet. Get through to the semi-finals. Come on. So after that chaos in Italy, in Milan, we're back now to the calmness of Vicarage Road uh, against West Bromwich Albion, a team that I think we drew one all with, or maybe we beat them. No, I think we beat them earlier in the season thanks to a late goal, but uh, yeah, we can't be struggling against this team. We've closed the gap to Everton now, so I think we can, we've got to keep pace with them now, now that we've closed the gap. Oh, setting Leon Bailey free here. Oh, oh, Suso with a very, very difficult headed chance there, but it was the first time we've uh, really got, uh, got him behind. And West Brom, wow. They've lost all 16 games away from home, so there should be no chance for them winning this game. Oh, yo, Inyaki has really mastered that back heel this season. Uh, just playing, he always makes that run in the channel, which always leaves a load of space in, in, in the middle of the pitch, which means that the player either coming from the right or the left makes it very easy. It was Suso this time that benefited. Look at this. Just the, midfield, the midfielder, I think it was, or the centre-back, just stopped. Suso just ran straight past him uh, and made it look very, very easy to make it 1-0. And hopefully that opens up the floodgates now. What? 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 How is Ramsdale going to come out and then just stand there? I'm not sure what Diop was doing there. Uh, in the second half of the season, I'm really questioning Issa Diop. I know we paid quite a bit of money for him, but I don't know. I'm just I'm not sure whether he's good enough. Uh, when Rob Holding isn't playing, we just look uh, so much weaker at the back. Oh, and he squeezes it in. Yo, Valverde, you know how he is. The tapping merchant. Federico Valverde. I thought he might have been offside there as the ball ricocheted back. But could have, should have scored on the first attempt, but it came back to him. <laughs> and the keeper was just flailing on the floor as uh, Valverde was able to just head the ball past him and we, re -get, we get the lead back. Uh, we shouldn't have even lost it in the first place. But uh, yeah, hopefully this time round, we will make not make the same mistake again and uh, just ride off into the sunset. Here's the chance to get in the cross. Clever feet there to go inside his man. Oh, Suso bangs it in. Yo, Leon Bailey skinned his defender. Yo, that defender had no chance. Look at this. Just burst a pace past a couple players. And then Suso blasts it. Keeper with no chance. And it's 3-1 just before the stroke of half time. That could be a huge goal. Just knock the stuffing out of West Brom. And uh, should be game over now. Into Kessie. Kessie makes no mistake. Yo, Kessie has definitely been the standout player for me in the last couple of episodes. He has just been, like, defensively solid. Striking solid. Uh, just, yeah, like, there's been no part of his game that he hasn't been absolutely outstanding in. And, uh... Yeah, I'm going to do some end-of-season awards for some of the players in the team. Uh, he's definitely up there for me. It's his first season uh, in the Premier League, and he's been absolutely amazing. Coming up for you. Here's Renato Sanchez. There we go. Full-time whistle. No issues against West Bromwich Albion this time. They stood no chance against us, even though they equalised. As soon as we went ahead, we didn't make the same mistake, as I said in, earlier in the game, and we just saw them off easily. And, uh, yeah, racking up those three points in the Premier League. Now, I can't remember the last time we lost in the league. So there we have it, guys. Another victory. And as you can see there in the standings, that moves us above Everton. We've been, like, climbing and chasing Everton for, I'd say, for, like, almost a month or two now. And we finally caught them up and we've actually overtaken them. We play the same amount of games. Uh, I think we're, what? Yeah, we're eight points behind Manchester United with a uh, game in hand. So if we win that, it will make it... Uh, a five-point gap, which is still a lot to 
to make up, you know, kind of towards the end of April. But we'll keep trying to win to see if we can close that gap up. But obviously, we made it through uh, to the semi-finals of the Europa League. We've obviously still got the semi-finals of the FA Cup to go as well. So we've got some huge, huge games going on. Not sure what on earth has happened to Sane in that picture. I'm not sure if you guys saw that. But uh, anyways, hope you guys enjoy this episode. Make sure to subscribe if you're not already. You know you know the deal, guys. Uh, make sure to like and comment as well if you think I should do something different in this in this career mode or you want to see something else. So yeah, look forward to hearing your guys' comments and feedback. But yeah, thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.